Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is Wednesday and Sophie's having a lesson today. The horse trailer is still out for repair. They're working on it, it's supposed to be ready by the end of this week. Having your trainer come to your house to give you lessons is stressful. Not like so super stressful, I love it. I wouldn't change it. But that means that you gotta come out early and get everything cleaned up. <laughs> get everything set up, get everything ready. I like to have snacks here. I like to have water just in case it's really hot. I hate it when it's hot. I just like, I like to get ready. I like to be prepared so that it's not uncomfortable for them. But once the trailer is fixed, we still will, we will start trailering back in for lessons. We'll probably wait until it starts to get cold and starts to get like, until Sophie can't ride outside anymore. And then we're gonna ride back in, drive back in. I had some questions from people that have asked, like, are you gonna board Lady anywhere this year? Um, for riding lessons or are you going to take her back to the barn and board her there so you can go and ride and while I love the idea of being able to just go ride three or four times a week in an indoor all winter long that would make life so much easier for us I love her being home with us I love her being with our herd I love everything about having her home so while it's inconvenient and difficult especially when you have a husband that doesn't like to do that to drive in in the winter when the roads are sometimes are potentially awful look You've come to visit me, have you? Oh my gosh. Every time I'm videoing, I get distracted by the animals on our farm. I just love them. So the little guys, all the little guys in front are still really young. You can tell the difference between the ones inside, the difference in size between that white one out there that's full grown. Oh, here comes Sophie. She'll be so excited to see you in here. Oh, aren't you brave? That little girl though, right there. Wait, where's my finger? Right there. That one, right there. She is so cute. That was waffles. waffles. Yeah. They came to visit me. I love them. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that's the update for that. Sophie, I was just telling them how we are gonna drive a uh, lady in and keep her home this winter. Unless that changes, I don't know. I don't think that that's gonna change. Like we wanna ride in, drive in. Like I wanna even drive in during the week. Don't you? So we're gonna see what happens, but we plan to keep her home um, and drive in for lessons. I'm excited to get back to it, be with all of our friends and all of our horsey family. What did you just see? Why did you close the door so fast for? What? Stand right there. Ew. Oh, well now they're all gone. What? Dude. Posey. All the goats were here. Oh, all the goats were what? there? <laughs> literally, literally. Hi. Our farm is so happy. Uh, I was reading up on how like, I don't know, it just showed up on my feed. How people with addictions have really low dopamine. And that's one weird thing about me is I have no addictions. I'm addicted to happiness, I guess. I'm addicted to dopamine. But anyway, to, yeah. to, you can't like be happy all the time if you have low levels of dopamine. And I like sometimes am just walking around happy, like for no reason. I just feel happy all the time. Like, and <laughs> what? She wants a treat, I have to get it for her. <laughs> so I taught her to kiss me. <laughs> Anyways, so I was like thinking like, I'm happier now than ever before in my whole entire life. So I was thinking like, what changed? And I'm pretty sure it's doing something that you love. Like that's the biggest, I get a lot of sleep too. And I eat a lot of milk and I eat a lot of meat. I take a good probiotic, all the things that like enhance good health, gut health. But holy heck man, it's the being around the animals really makes me just feel so happy. Hey, I got no pockets. What am I gonna do here? Kiss. Kiss. Good girl. You have a runny nose though. That's gross. It's gross. Yes, I love you too. You're my favorite girl. Just joking. I love all the girls. Honey's pretty fit from here. Here's a little horse treat for you. You like it? All right, I got five more treats left. Everybody gets one. Maybe you get Willow one. Oh, I will. 
Willow doesn't need, Willow's our chubby, chubbiest horse for sure. Here, little baby, what's wrong with your eyeball? Gracie is our second chubbiest horse. I told Sam that these minis need to start staying in the barn at night. One for you. <laughs> Posey's like, what about me? All right, here, one more for you. Oops. There you go, sweet girl. Making sure you get one too. So I don't know what's gonna, like I, I still have to read up on it. I wanna find a way to make it easier for her to have Sophie away from her and doing stuff with other people. But I truly believe she's just gonna get older and she's gonna get more mature and she's gonna figure it out on her own. I just think it's good to just let her be exposed to it. And I think it's good to let her Come on. I think it's good to not give in to her. Like, like I don't want to bring um, her into the field all the time. What's the problem? Why is everybody crying? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Oh, you lovely little babies. I, I'm missing all of our goats. Like I, I like more goats better than less goats. See Lola with her babies. And then our old girls, our mean girl, she's three and she's two. And she's one. One, two, three. And these guys won't be one until the spring. Go away! Go away, little missy. Go away. You guys can't come with me everywhere I go. Everybody's peeing in the horse field. I don't know what that's about. Go away, go. The horses are out all night now and they are loving it. Go away. But they come every morning and they stand here and they poop in the shelter because this is where they hang out. So I gotta clean that up today. I don't know what is going on with you two. Are you guys attached? No. Nope. Oh, I see. They're in heat. See the one that's with the white, see the one with the wagging tail? Yep, that one's in heat. Don't bite me. Which kind of makes me concerned. I don't know if our boy is just not old enough yet. I mean, he's still young. I don't know, it's, it might be a late breeding season because they should be like following the fence line. Hi. They should be following the fence line and smelling him and he should be spraying everywhere, but he's not yet. So clearly too young. I might have to get myself another buck just for a few weeks. I got nothing. All right, guys, I'm going to go clean up and get ready for lessons. So everybody go away, go away, go play, go play with the goats. Oh my gosh, you gotta go. Stop being fussy. Am I to fix it for you? I have, I'm gonna wash these fly masks. So for today's snack, we're having water and little mini muffins. Sam picked them up at the grocery store. I don't think water's a snack. Water is a good snack. It is, but water's the best for cancer. I know, it's so good. You should clean your boots. I know, she did clean them. But then they dried and now they're... They, she cleaned them after the show. She used like cleaning stuff. And they dried and they look like that still. I like to be on the horse. I like her to be on the horse when the trainer gets here. We've got 10 minutes. I just don't think that spray is the right one for you. Okay, it's not spraying. So that's the problem. Well, like it looks, makes it look like it's clean, but then when your boot dries, you can see a lot of mud residue still. So after her lesson, we'll look at that boot. We'll look at her boots and see if you can tell that she cleaned them. All right, we are here before the trainer, and it looks like everybody else is here too. The piggy? Not honey. Nope, not honey. Honey hasn't come, that's good. But also the turkeys have been following me. <laughs> Sophie just went to the bathroom, and even Lady tried to go with her. I'm like, <laughs> animals like me too, you know? <laughs> She's watching Sophie. <laughs> She's watching her go to the house. I know exactly what these roosters are thinking. They're thinking that they're gonna peck the horse. Don't peck the horse. Don't bite the wood. Hey, hey. Don't smell the chicken poop. 
One thing about Lady that we've learned, she gets bored just standing there. She does not like to just stand there, and I'm sure that's why she chews wood, is because she gets bored. She hasn't been doing it lately because she's been out of her stall all 24 hours a day. But once winter comes, are you sneaking up on me? <laughs> she's trying to figure out the horse. Or she's about to jump on my net on my back. I know what you're thinking. Hold on there, Missy. <laughs> she's coming to get you. You don't have to walk to her. <laughs> Hold on. How dare you leave me with this lady? Hey. I'm definitely not as fun as you. As fun as me? Yeah. I knew that. Bye, bye, bye. And there's Posey Pig. She made her way over here. We're waiting for the trainer. And we decided to wait in the shade where we can stay cool. It's early this morning. We're having our lesson early this morning because it is scorching out. Your pig's in the hole. What? What do you want? Hey, what do you want? Oh, there's the dust. I thought for sure the turkeys were going to peck the horse. I swear to God, they walked up to her back leg and were like, hmm, let's just see. <laughs> Here comes Gabby. Even Gabby made it before the trainer today. Only my pig would lay one foot away from a horse. <laughs> You're a funny posy pig. Well, you should be doing lots of groundwork with her. She's kind of good at backing up. Was she not good at backing up before? No, I had to like pull so hard, but now. Okay, well now she's making me a liar like the other Try it again. Okay. She should always listen. See? Yeah, that's really good. The storm the one time he picks up the right lead. So then. He does a blind lead change because he's like, I'm on the wrong lead. I know this. And you're like, no, keep it. And he's like, no, I'm going to change it. So, okay, so the next show that Sophie's going to, I had trouble signing her up. There was just miscommunication on what, like, I thought the walk, trot, pole, I thought the pole division was walk, trot, canter poles because someone told me that. Wasn't the cross Oh, yeah. I thought the cross rail division was, uh, was a canter cross rails because someone told me that. And it turns out that it was walk, trot, cross rails. So she could have done it so i signed her up for another division which was like a funky division that had like it has com a command class and what else does it have in it a command class command class is when it's kind of like simon says on horseback so which sophie's done before and she did so good she did it at the fair and she did it she came really close to winning it was just me and this other person yeah she came second I, place i did not know how to ask for so when I get to the show, I'm going to try and change it. And I think I can because I got an email from them saying like she can't do both divisions. So I'm hoping that I can switch it to the second division. And if not, Sylvia has to learn how to counter canner. So we're hoping to learn that today. And um, like a lot of you suggested, now that we know Sylvia can't read a course, we're going to have to get the trainer to teach her to read a course. Uh -huh. Yay, you! <laughs> <sighs> Gabby just started, so... I get told, this jump, that jump, that jump. Me yeah, out. yeah, the coach <laughs> always just says, like, just tells them, like, what to do. And then Sophie spends her whole entire time watching other kids go and memorizing. I don't know why. She, she only forgot the course no, one time. And then she, the second time, somebody told it to her wrong. She has that luxury where she can sit and watch others do their route. You can't do that? I was either always somehow late or the first. So I had to, here's your course. All right, you got it. Two seconds. Yeah, but you, you could it. do that. But you did it. You could do it. I can't do that. I can't do that either. So anyway, she's going to learn how to read courses really because it's an important skill. Uh, Gabby just learned on her own. Holy moly. I'm just looking at that, at Posey here. And she's definitely, you can definitely tell when a pig is in heat. You can't always tell when a goat is in heat, but holy moly, you can tell by looking at her that she's in heat. I mean, not the fact that she's just laying here doing nothing. <laughs> Look at that smile. She has such a cozy little smile on her face. She just like cuddles into the ground. My turkey is about to... Don't, don't, Gabby. He's about to attack you. <laughs> don't. He's really not going to attack you. He's scared of people. 
He's, they're not aggressive. Turkeys are not aggressive. I named that one. His name is Tom. No, his name is Wilbert. No, his Tom name is not no. Wilbert. His I name is Tom. I named him when he was a baby. What? I named him Wilbert. I renamed him Tom. Holy moly, didn't see that coming. She's picking her. Get her off. <laughs> that's my, that's my, that's my girl. Isabel. <laughs> what a dummy. I told you, don't go over the horses. What a good girl she is, though. Uh -uh. Not Claire Bell. Lady's like, what? <laughs> Lady didn't even flinch. Lady didn't even know. <laughs> and you're concerned. <laughs> it's, it's a bad one doesn't jump on people. He does jump on me. <laughs> He thought that his little Clarabelle was in trouble, so he's protecting her by making himself big and fluffy. <laughs> Which I'm okay with that, because he's pretty cute. You know what normal turkey names are? What are normal turkey names? Thanksgiving, turkey Christmas, Easter. Yeah, I know. I thought that's a good idea. But since we're not eating these ones, because these ones are special. They're all going to be special then. No. There will be some. My plan is to have so many turkeys that I don't know. I don't, I'm not friends with all of them, and then eat the not friends ones. Well, she can name those ones Thanksgiving, Easter. I know you're trying to jump on me now. All right, it's time to get up. Oh, stop pecking me. Clarabelle, you need some rules. You're grounded, Missy. So, uh, Sophie's show that she's supposed to show on the weekend. Canceled. Lady, pull the shoe. It's Wednesday. The show is on Sunday. Our farrier is away. She's on vacation, it's far so away. It sucks. Sophie was so excited about the show, you guys. This was like a whole other show series. But I wanted to remind you guys, did you, remember I told you Sophie has prophetic dreams like I have? <laughs> Sophie has prophetic dreams Sophie like me. Like that. that means like she yeah. dreams stuff and then it comes true yeah. all the time. Like she is just exactly like me. And I think everybody does. It's just if you wake up during certain times, like it's about how deep you sleep kind of if you remember your dreams. But anyways, she said that she dreamed, and I videoed it, it said she dreamed that we were getting ready to call, go to a horse show, and her horse pulled a shoe, and she said, you better call, a, call the farrier, and yeah, I can't, because our farrier is away. She didn't pull it, it was hanging back on. Yeah, so, yep, so I have to go scratch her name from the show. I used to like always feel really disappointed and feel really like worried and feel like I used to like I used to like find it easy to hate things. I used to find it easy to be like, oh man, but you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. Like no need to get upset. No need to be sad about it. We got lots of shows. Our show series go from from like July till October, late October. So we got lots of time still. Okay. You're sitting here. Just Don't stay. Yourself. Stay with us. Look. Sophia, you're... Look. Look at the shadow in the Hold back of the barn. Sure. Look at the shadow in the back of the barn. Sophia, look at it. It's so cool. Ellie is getting a taste of her medicine. The puppy is bigger, a lot bigger than her. Way more powerful. It doesn't look bigger, but it's a lot bigger. And the puppy is a puppy, so she doesn't know when to stop. <laughs> So basically she treats Ellie the way Ellie treats all the other dogs. So Ellie's getting a taste of her own. I'm gonna try and clean up a bit of this paddock here. Since they're eating a little bit more hay now, they're spending more time in this area. So they're pooping more. My family's coming next weekend to have a big party here. And my nephews who are like 10 and 11 are super excited. They love to come and they love to clean this paddock. I've had them on the video before. And I'm just going to try and clean it up a little bit because it's a big job and it's going to take them all day. Come on, get in here. Come on, you're staying in here. Come on. Thank you. Stay here. I literally turned around for one second and this is what I see. <laughs> they weren't here a minute ago. never seen that much poop in that area before.
You guys, these stupid chickens are all over the place. But my goat is paying attention to my boy goat. Remember this morning I said like, I don't know what's happening, but Storm just pushed her away. But the girl that was in heat was over there flirting with the boy. We have a good, a good few months left still too. So it is happening. I just want to get a picture right here. I love when they lay on this thing. It's so cute. Sometimes when I need a picture and I don't have my phone with me or my camera with me, I just use this vlogging camera and then I can take like a picture from the screenshot. So cute. I love all the colors we have. So lovely. And then we have the girl in heat that wants to be with the boy. Hi. <laughs> Somehow I inherited a little black dog. I didn't see that coming. Come here, Toffee. Move out of the way. I want to get Lola laying down. Look how big she is now. I mean, she's still tiny, but she's grown. Hey, Storm's pushing them off. There they go. 